Hello, hello. It's been a minute. We are doing a last garden tour of 2022. I actually filmed this back in December, December like 20th, so it's been a while, but I wanted to get this out there so that I can reference it in the springtime when everything grows back. I'm going to run through this really quick and try to voice over what I can, what I remember. It has been a minute, so hopefully I can squeeze it all in, but this is what my garden looked like back in December before the first major freeze came and it pretty much killed everything. I did not cover anything because I went out of town for a while and I just figured what's gonna die is gonna die. So I kind of let mother nature take it and things are starting to grow back already and I am heavily amending my beds for the spring and summer. So all is well, but this is how it was December 20th. Let's go take a look. All right, so starting with the patio plants. Um, this is my cat. I don't know why they like eating the lemongrass, but they do. I have some citruses up here, mainly a blood orange and lime. This is my grapevine and an overview of what my backyard looks like. There's still some green left. Over here is was the tomato bed. Um, not really many tomatoes grew. This is my lemon balm. I have some asparagus growing in the middle that actually did really well. I'm pretty happy with that. This is my flower bed. I've got some butterfly weed happening, milkweed. My rosemary. There is a climbing rose on that trellis along with the grapes. This is a lavender. Back there I think is a patch of bee balm, but I'm not totally sure. This is a vetiver plant. I wanted to take that out because it's kind of taking over. Some more butterfly weed. And Tulsi back there, that just seeded itself. I'm not totally sure where that came from. Over here, I have got a passion fruit that I planted. A little rose. This is uh, my patch of oregano, a fennel back there, my huge elderberry. I'm not sure if I should prune that or not. It's getting a little wild. Some more oregano and green onions line that bed, a comfrey. This is either turmeric or ginger, I am unsure. And then the tiniest little bit of marjoram that I thought had died, but it keeps hanging on. My blackberry that is trellised up against the fence. I've got some rainbow chard back there. Parsley and some mint wandering around. This is my main uh, lemon balm patch with some garden sage in it. Back there is, I don't remember what that is. I'll have to look it up. Um, I've got a cute little salad burnet, which I don't like the taste of. I just like the way it looks and my nettle patch that I'm very proud of. Um, some kind of basil. Here is some more ginger and or turmeric. I've also got lemon verbena in there and some cabbages. This is my potato bed, I call it. I've got all kinds of herbs. That is some more lemon balm that I started. This is a pineapple sage. I think it's so pretty. The variegation on it, some garden sage, a curry plant, and some more basil. This is some purple variegated basil that I grew from seeds last year that got, got cross-contaminated. Here is some feverfew. There's an orange that fell out of the compost and I tried to throw in. Totally missed. Oops. Feverfew. I'm excited for that. Um, my little potato patch. Those are just growing on their own. I did not plant those. One of my reliable thyme plants. Some weeds. My donut peach tree. I'm really hoping that it gives me some fruit this year, but we'll see. Another look at my grapevine. I've got a rose plant also along this column of my patio. I think that was the last rose. Oh, I don't think that one even fully bloomed because of the freeze, but this was my pepper patch. So whatever is left over the peppers is happening. Some sage. I just planted this parsley and it's surprisingly still kicking. 
kale that got devoured by white flies i believe that's kind of coming back but then it died off in the freeze a ton of these tabasco peppers i don't think any of them actually fully made it um sad but oh well this is an echinacea a yarrow i love yarrow i get it every chance i can a kohlrabi that never fully came to be some leftover straggling pepper plants this is an okinawa spinach which I don't think I even got to try it. But it was cool to grow. Another rosemary. My last echinacea bloom of the year. They're so pretty. And this is the mess of a tomato bed that I had. Um, a lot of it started dying already. But there were some random things in there. It may have been a pansy. I don't think I could find the tag, so I am not sure. Either way, it didn't make it to a full mature plant. Anyways, I had planted some things in here during the fall, but I kind of gave up on my fall gardening. These are just some like random onions and ginger plants that I threw in there. This is a pineapple sage that popped up from last year, which I thought was cool, so I just left it. Under there is some mugwort, but this is a mess. It was a loofah that seeded on its own. There is a hidden uh, rose bush under there, but none of these loofahs actually made it to maturity because of the freeze and... I don't know. I just kind of let it be. There's a parsley in there. Mugwort going wild. I had a giant parsley and it died, so I'm trying to reestablish some more. This is mugwort going to seed. It's kind of just sprouting up everywhere. It's a little bit like a weed, but that is okay. Hopefully it doesn't get too out of control. Oh, I lied. There's one more echinacea flower. So cute. Here's a bunch more basil. They kind of look like lemon lime basil. There was an eggplant. It's already dying from the cold. My bay leaf tree, a Swiss chard. I love chard. And then this bed is just kind of a mess. I actually might remove it. I tried to sow some beets or radishes, but I don't think they ever made it. And there's a time there that never really did very well. An echinacea that planted itself. Oh, there's the third bloom. Wow, there's a lot more than I remembered. There's some tomatoes back there. I mean, potatoes, but I never did much with that. There's a row of basil in the middle here. Some strawberry plants. These are actually doing awesome. Basil. Some cherry tomatoes still going. Kind of at the end of their life cycle. Um, a whorehound. That's doing awesome there. I'm so glad. Some more basil. Cherry tomatoes. This is my fig tree. Looking great. There is a jasmine back there. This is a gardenia. Oh, some peas. I forgot. I had some peas going. They ended up dying in the freeze, but they were there. This is also kind of a mess. So there's carrots along the piece of wood there. And then towards the middle, there's a bunch of tomatoes. I'm not sure these made it, but it kind of gave me hope that they were growing at least. Here is another elderberry and a magnolia. Tomatoes, bunches of tomatoes. There's some beets hiding under there. Oh, now we're going out front. 
So here's just a quick look of the front yard. Most of this is herbs and stuff, Mexican sage, there's olive tree, rose bushes, lavender bushes, mints, cosmos, some grasses. A lot of it is covered with flowers, I mean leaves right now. Lavender, comfrey, there's some thyme down there. Oh, some more echinacea. I've got some little flowers here and there. I guess it was really windy this day. And then on my side bed, there's a ton of zinnias still. There's cilantro down there. This was a huge Thai basil. More zinnias, some lavenders. This was a purple basil. There's jasmine back there. And then a bunch of zinnias and a lavender. Another lavender. This is the bed around my tree out front. There's a ton of calendula plants, but they never fully blossomed, so. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps my channel. And I hope you have a beautiful day.